Wow, 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 wow. So, we are back, we are back, we are back, we are back. So, uh, tell me whether you like this uh, version of me explaining the economic calendar this way so that at least I can know whether we'll go back to the whiteboard or we'll stick here. But anyway, uh, you'll tell me. So, this week looks like this. So, this is Monday to Friday. I know it looks tiny, but uh, just walk with me. Bear with me, okay? So, tomorrow on Monday in Japan, uh, we have respect for the aged day so there is no major economic news on monday or on tuesday but in japan uh, it's respect for the aged day so if i was in japan my hairline would have qualified me to be respected okay not only calligraphy is respected here we respect uh the age but anyway 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 uh, bad jokes aside then on tuesday we have no economic events no major economic events then on Wednesday, we have U.S. crude oil inventories. Now, I've always insisted and I've always told you guys that oil is a very, it's, it's a commodity that you can actually trade and make some very good cash from it, okay? So, uh, the reason why I always tell people, or the reason why I always teach this in both the full course and the crash course is because oil is a commodity that basically survives on supply and demand okay remember during covid when there was no demand price did that thing when uh, demand came back you saw where the price of oil went okay then uh so the previous reading was negative 5.53 so at least you can be able to tell by the current situation in the us that they have negative reserve as per last time's reading so that is that then uh, we have 10 year note auction now this is something to do with bonds i won't explain much on this because it carries a lot of data then on 11th you wake up it's thursday and you are not ready but that's why i'm here okay so on thursday we have cpi okay consumer price index and jobless claims so listen to me before you enter the market without any idea of what you are doing so you can see uh, cost CPI for the month of December, month on month. This one is year over year, so it calculates for the year over year. So you can see month on month is down, but our main concern is here. Okay, our major concern here. So you can see previous reading was 3.1% and projected or forecast is 3.2%. Now, I beseech you, please listen to me. Please, I beg of you. You can see this. If, let's say for example, in the event on that day we wake up, uh, you wait for this piece of news, I'm sure it will be released around 3.30, and this number comes out to 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, anything above uh, 3.2, okay, anything above 3.2, because the market uh, might already uh, adjust itself for this, okay. If it comes out a surprisingly higher number, let's say 3.6, 3.7, uh, maybe somewhere 3.5, Please, I beg of you. I please, please, please beg of you. Just know interest rates are not going to be cut anytime soon. They are going to maintain or even increase one final time. Not one final time, one time, one extra time. Okay? So, please be cautious of that. Because if interest rates continue to go higher and higher, you know how it goes. Interest rates go higher, uh, companies start uh, firing people, stock market uh, starts to drop down uh, with you with the, they think they have a grip on inflation then inflation keeps coming back again so in eventually it triggers a recession and to make matters worse we have initial jobless claims on that very same day now if this number let's say for example i'm giving you scenarios here if this number comes out to 3.5 percent okay and then initial jobless claims, the people are filing for unemployment numbers come less which means that not many people are filing for unemployment benefits, okay? Let's say, for example, if this number comes at around 180, this will reassure the market that inflation is not slowing down anytime soon. So you will see a lot of catastrophe during uh, Thursday if you are not prepared, okay? 30 year bond auction, I won't talk about it, still tied to this, okay? Because it at least projects where the interest rates will be for the next 30 years. But I won't talk much about that. Then on Friday, we have the GDP uh, for the British pound, as you can see, uh, negative 3, negative 0.3% was the last reading uh, in November. 
let's see what Q1 their projection is, let's see whether the economy will grow, will stagnate, or will continue to go down. Then on Friday, we have a uh, producer price index. Is it producer? Of, uh, I think it's producer, yeah. PPI, okay? So this is another measure for inflation. This is what comes before this. This is actually a leading indicator to this. So they will be able to tell whether, okay, will be able to tell whether inflation is really, really coming back. Because let's say, for example, you can see last time it was at 0%, forecast is 0.1. So if, if the numbers come out here to be 0.5, then you know we have a real problem in relation to this. Okay, so I believe uh, that's it for the economic calendar. I really hope, okay, I really hope you've understood uh, a thing or two here. Okay, so again, if you're interested in trading with me, okay, all I require for you is just open an account using, uh, just open an account under me. Then everything else, you find your own account, the, the trades are yours, the profits are yours. So if that's a deal that works for you, then please uh, don't hesitate reaching out. And if you already opened an account yeah, with Scope Markets, because Scope Markets is the broker that I'm using, worry not, I have people there who actually, Grace is there. She is my handler at Scope Markets. She's there, she will help you transfer uh, your account under me so that at least, you know, when, when I open the free signal group, at least you'll be able to benefit on both signals and classes here and there, okay? So that is the economic calendar for the week. Uh, let's respect the aged people tomorrow. And let's meet on Thursday, because Thursday is when uh, a lot of inflation uh, data will be coming out. So, and please, before we leave, if you like this format better than the previous one, because the whiteboard is still there, I can still be writing, but if you like this format better, please leave a, or a yes, or a 100, or flame, uh, but if you like this format better, please let me know, okay? So with that, allow me to leave the video then tell you that's the economic calendar so see you in the market bye